What's up guys? We're in New Mexico. Yes, I've been so excited to come here. This is like top of my list. <laughs> it's our first time in New Mexico. New state for both of us. Yes. So behind Isa is the Hot Air Balloon Museum. And what did you think? It was so cool. Like, number one, I had no idea like hot air balloons started so long ago. They're different types, they're different shapes, obviously we knew that one. But just like there's so much that I didn't know. They tell you all about it here. This museum is fascinating. So these balloons up here, they're actually bombs. The Japanese launched them up, they caught the jet stream from Japan, carried them over to North America during World War II, and more than a thousand of them actually detonated in the US. But the US government kept it a complete secret, and so Japan thought it was a failure that they never actually got here, and then they abandoned the project. Crazy! What are we heating? I see it, I see it. Oh, we're heating that. Oh, yeah. We're flying, hun. I'm gonna launch mine. Oh, look at me go. Woo! <laughs> Crash landing. <laughs> There's an entire section here about Felix Baumgartner's jump. It's so cool. So this is the Double Eagle. It's the first balloon to successfully cross the Atlantic. This is the Breitling Orbiter. This thing made it around the world in 20 days. The museum is really well curated and it's really interesting. They give you this little self-tour thing so you can follow along and you can learn all about this and kind of do it at your own pace. And the museum faces this field where they have the International Balloon Fiesta every October. They launch hundreds of balloons. There's hundreds of thousands of people that come and seriously, we want to come back for it. It'd be so cool to see. We've been here for about an hour and we're about done with everything. We thought we were done, but there's a whole nother section to this place. How are you liking the museum? It is so cool. I had no idea there was so much history in balloons. We were in Albuquerque yesterday. We went exploring all day. We saw the culture museum about the Pueblos here. We went to Old Town and we saw some petroglyphs, which were super cool. But we waited until today to see the Hot Air Balloon Museum because the first Friday of every month, it's free. Welcome to Hiking in Heels with Isa. We are at Petroglyphs National Monument in Boca Negra Canyon. That's all I remember. <laughs> so we're hiking up the side of what we think was a volcano because all of these are volcanic boulders and there's just petroglyphs just marked on hundreds of them. It's really cool. They're all over the place. little trails here, Cliff Base and the Macaw Trail. There are restrooms here with water fountains so you can fill up your water bottles if you need to. And yeah, now we're gonna head out to another part of the park. Piedras Marcadas. Here we go. We learned that petroglyphs are different from pictogra pictographs that you might find in a cave. Pictographs are actually drawings, but petroglyphs are carved into the rock. They're made by carving or chiseling away the top layer, and then the lighter layer that's underneath is exposed. And that's what you see. Oh, oh, they go all the way up the hill. Oh, there's one over here. They're everywhere. That's oh, so cool. Like a dinosaur. So they said that the petroglyphs, the meaning of them, just kind of got lost. So we're making up our own meanings. That's a duck and a present. I think they're Pac-Man ghosts. They look like plankton oh. under a microscope. I think that's an like alligator. That's a beetle. That's a bee. Asa thinks it's a squid and a snail. Okay, we just hiked out of there. Spent about an hour in each one of the sections of the park here. And now we're gonna go see Old Town Albuquerque. Let's go! Welcome to Old Town! Not just a mural, it's like... 3D. 3D. We are at Old Town Plaza. Yay! Yay! Cute little plaza in the center of Old Town. And across from the plaza is San Felipe de Neri. Let's go check it out. Not souvenirs, not trinkets. 
We're gonna get ice cream no, inside. I'm wondering if there's a green chili ice cream because the coolness of the ice cream would cool off the hotness of the chilies. And because here in New Mexico there's green chili everything. There's green chili pizza, green chili burgers. And I really want to try it all. So we'll see. New Mexico has some interesting candy. There are ants in there. One with a worm. What is that? Oh. And cricket. Oh, wait, wait. And scorpions. This actually fits. You're gonna walk and hit the wind chimes. <laughs> <laughs> Whole Breaking Bad section. Handwoven pillow covers, handwoven baskets. It's cool how much handmade stuff is around here. It's like a Mickey Mouse cactus. They're real. Candy lady. Yeah. Do I need to card you? Okay, we're gonna bleep out this stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too. Chocolate green chili. Oh, that's cool. Look at it. Give me a kiss. Tastes like chocolate. Wait for it. Oh, yeah, that's right. spicy at the end. That may have been a mistake. Back in my mouth is on fire now. <laughs> but right now we're headed up to Santa Fe and Taos. We're continuing our road trip. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Here we go.